our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Michael Pays. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the future! Ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go from Team Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, and wherever we are in the world. Most fighters on this roster, to a man, to a woman, they want the chance at some point to make this walk here in Vegas. You absolutely want to fight in Las Vegas. Before it was the MGM Grand, it was the Mandalay Bay. Now it is the Team Mobile Arena, the most beautiful arena in the world and the home to the biggest UFC fight right now. International Fight Week, the championship fight all across the board. You come to T-Mobile. Page gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? He loaded up there on that high kick. There's the jab. There's another one. So the double jab is there by Machado Garrett. And now that jab starting to get established. Big knee lands there. Left punch on target tonight. Man, has he been masterful on the feet this evening. He's really utilized that jab to perfection. You see the numbers at the bottom of the screen. He might land 100 jabs tonight. Absolutely incredible. Nice jab by Payne. That was a big check. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that body kick couldn't feel good. Gary gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Beautiful leg kick lands. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Able to block that one. Oh, back to the well with the inside leg kicks. Nice work there. Oh! Cannot take too many of those. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Nice punch to the head. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. Keeping him honest with the jab. That was a massive high kick. Final seconds of round one. Visibly limping here. Oh, oh. Round two straight ahead. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. And he lands the Superman punch. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Page. 
Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, oh he's hurt. Strong outside leg kick. Big knee there. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? You can catch a body kick, but you got to step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Just missed on that. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. That ran the clinch. Oh! Oh, and that one up for cut. It's a right hand. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's past for trying to find that shot again. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. All right, so some depth. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. 90 seconds now to go in our second round. Good kick. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, nice. Nice. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that low state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. Oh, you got him. We might get a stoppage here. Back to his feet. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? You ready. Third and final round. All right, so after one of the more entertaining rounds in recent UFC history, our next round is upon us. Man, those guys both took some serious damage in that previous round. They both took damage, but they both gave it. They both gave it as well as they took it. Let's see who wilts and goes down first. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Ian Machado Gary. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted. That cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it. Whether or not he's confused by where it's at. Somehow his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. This could be it. Oh, landed some big shots too. Three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Ian Machado Gary's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. 
Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Checks that leg kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, thunderous leg kick grounds his opponent. Lifted a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by right. that one big leg kick. Nice defense. Bears watching. Straight right is there. Oh, no. 20 seconds to go. He's in trouble. over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision now in. The buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for the winner by unanimous decision, the future!